Problem A. A string will be input. Output each character repeated twice. I can only say to do as instructed with this content. Python handles characters a bit differently. So it might feel a bit different from other languages. By the way, I'm the one who came up with this problem. Problem B. A 64-digit binary number is input in reverse order, separated by spaces. Convert it to decimal notation. Join them and reverse it, and leave the rest to Python. Of course, you can also calculate it diligently. But it will overflow from a normal signed long long. Problem C. There is a sequence of integers from 1 to n that each appears three times. Output these numbers in order from the ones that appear for the second time first. From here, you might run out of time depending on how you do it. If you create a table, record the number of times each number appears while looking from the left. You can finish by just going around once if you output them in order of when the count reached 2. It's not impossible to do it with sorting, but I think this way is easier. Problem D. There is a course meal where poison apples and antidotes are served in order. Each dish has a defined, deliciousness. Taro can choose whether to eat each one or not. He is healthy at first, but if he eats a poison apple, he will get a stomachache. If he takes an antidote while he has a stomachache, he will recover. It's harmless to take an antidote while healthy. What happens when he eats a poisoned apple while not healthy? He dies. In situations where he must not die. What is the maximum total deliciousness of the dishes he can eat? Since there are only two states, whether he has a stomachache or not. Make a table based on that and calculate. It's something called dynamic programming. Problem E. There is a sequence of n zeros and an integer k. From now on, elements of the sequence will be replaced one by one. Output the sum of the largest k elements at each point. Prepare two things like bags, and put the higher and lower ones in them. What was it called? Balanced binary search tree. Keep the sequence itself separately. And add and remove from the bag according to the replacement. Occasionally adjust it when the number of items is wrong. Problem F. There are n sequences of length m. Consider a function that, for two sequences a and b, returns the sum of the positions of the elements originating from a when the elements of both are mixed and sorted in ascending order. Calculate the sum of the results when this function is called for all pairs. It feels like, what is this? But if you plot points like this, you're counting the points inside this rectangle. So, for all pairs, arrange all of them and do the same thing. So, how do you do this? Compress the y coordinates like this. And if you place a one where there is a point, it becomes interval addition, so use such a data structure. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. 